um, server request was successful and don't mind this uh, magic folder um, conflict thingy it's just an enum settings so I'm going to register another one say an S4 joyrideclick.com and use the uh, the same IP it doesn't really matter let's try that okay name server request was successful so yes if you just have one IP just register both name servers um, with the same IP address it doesn't really matter so okay and we just registered the name servers now we have to update the domain name itself to use this uh, um, newly registered name server so we're going to manage this domain click manage here and joyride click dot com and click go now I'm going to update the DNS server settings here and use the name servers which we just registered ns3 joyride click dot com and ns4 joyride click dot com so for example you have a domain name or a website with a domain like um, jimspainting.com or babyshower.com or anything so first thing you need to do is um, get the IP address of your VPS here the IP address of your VPS and go to your domain registrar and register the name server so two steps first register the name servers two of those and then go to your domain management panel such as this one and use those two name servers you just registered and repeat the whole process for every domain name you have so it's like that and again don't mind the access violation condition it's just an enum thingy so for example you're not using enum as your domain registration provider just go to demo demo.com this is demo demo.com click on tutorials here on the top left scroll down until you find DNS demos so here they have tutorials on how you can register your private name servers on this domain providers so other providers if you say you're using GoDaddy you can see it here how you can register your private name servers with GoDaddy and so forth after that the second step is to change your DNS DNS changes right and here you can see how you can update or change your domains DNS to use the new name servers which you just registered so two steps first register the name servers second use that registered name servers with your domain name so that's what we have to do which I just did okay so now if we do a who is of joyride click like click uh, go who is search result here you can see we are using the name servers we just registered so now when we go to joyrideclick.com we should go it should point to this server okay okay let's let's try and do that let's open up this tab and we're gonna go to joyride click joyride click dot com there we go so as you can see um, it's now loading the virtual mean um, default page so everything is pointed here and you can start publishing your website with FTP and um, that's it so I don't think virtual mean have any file manager so you just can publish your website into um, uh, the server using FTP okay so your FTP name is the um, FTP username is the one you just created when you are creating this account you use the password you choose the password and you can use that so let's let's try I'm gonna bring up FileZilla here um, okay so let's see 
joy right click huh I forgot the username what's the username email and FTP users let's see it here uh, FTP login joy right click uh, I remember the password but I forgot the username so joy right click and the password quick connect so this is just another FTP software called FileZilla I'm sure you already know about this when you already purchase a VPS so there's no problem with that so we're in now see now um, with uh, Virtuomin you just need to upload your website um, let's see on your public HTML just like cPanel upload it here and I think you're done so let's try um, and create a simple text file just for testing and here's my notepad I want to write simple code here h1 welcome to joy right click dot com hosted by virtual min control panel let's save this and put it in the desktop it's just to show you it's working index.html okay I'm, we're gonna upload this here go to desktop my desktop and index.html I'm gonna upload it here so as you can see it's just been uploaded and let's refresh our website here oops let's see what happens it's not um, uploading 